Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today's question is coin change to. You are given with coin of different denomination and a total amount of money. Write a function to compute the amount of combinations that make up that amount. You may assume that you have infinite number of each kind of coins. And if you look at example number one, we are given with amount five and the coins we are given with one, two and five. And the combination we can use is either I can use coin of five one time Either I can use coin of 2 2 times and I can use coin of 1 1 time. Either I can use coin of 2 1 time and coin of 1 3 times. Or either I can use coin of 1 5 times. So in this way we have total 4 combinations. So let's move on to pen and paper. Let's see how we can solve this question. After that we will see the code. I have taken the example given in the question. And the question is asking us that we are given with the different denomination of the coins and we need to make a amount and we need to compute the total number of combination to make up that amount and if I say that you have to make amount of zero with no coin what does that mean that means we have a zero coin and you have to make a zero amount so there are one way to make zero if I say you have to make one using no coin so is there any way we can make one without using any coin no so zero if i say we need to make two using no coin so is there any way or is there any combination i can make two with no coin no so answer is zero if i talk about three is there any way i can make three with no coin no so the answer is 0 and same way it will keep going. So now if I say I will add one coin to this combination. So now I have a combination of no coin and one. So to make 0 we can simply drag down one because if I ask about is there any way to make no coin then we can simply say one way that way is not to choose the coin but if I ask can you make one using one's coin yes and the combination is I can use one's coin for one time all right can you make two using one's coin yes we can use one's coin two times to make two so we have combination one plus one now if I ask can we make three using one's coin? Yes, we can. And the way is we can use one three times. And same with four, we can use one four times. So same goes on. Using one's coin, I can make any amount. I just need to add one that many times and I can make any amount using one's coin. Now if I add to it for zero we'll keep filling one so now we have to make one and we have two coins coin of one and coin of two and can i use coin of two to make one no because the coin is greater than the amount that means if the coin is greater than the amount we don't have to include that or we can say for any amount which is less than the coin or you can say new added coin the number of combination remains same so for one we can simply use the above, com above number of combination because coin of two will not affect the number of combination so let's come to two so now we have to make amount of two using combination of one and two one way is I can use once coin two times so i can form two and another way is i will use just two to form two so in this way i got two different combinations and if i talk about here i have two options either i will use two or either i will not use two so if i am not using two 
I can simply drag down the number of combination from above. The same thing we did here because we were not using two, so we simply drag down the number of combination. So this is one, and the another is if I am using two. If I am using two, that means I need to reduce two from the amount, and if I am reducing two from the amount, I came to zero, and it is asking that. What is the number of combination I make zero using two's coin? That is one. So I will add this one and this one because I had two options: either to use two or either not to use two. So I will add both of them. One is when I am not using two, and when I am using two. So it will become two. I come to three. now again i have two options either i will use two or either i will not use two when i'm not using two i will simply use the number of combination from the above row so i got one now when i'm using two that means i will reduce the amount from 3 and if i'm reducing the amount from 3 i get 3 minus 2 which is 1 and now i will check What is the number of combination when I am using one and two to form one? That is one. So one plus one is two. Now I come to four. Again, I have two options: either to use two's coin or either not to use two's coin. When I am not using, I will take one. And when I am using, that means I will reduce two from four. That is two. And now I will check what is the number of combinations to form two. Using two's coin, that is two. So two plus one is three. So there are three ways to form four using one and two coin, and the ways are either I can use one for four times, either I can use two for two times, either I can use two for one time, and one for two time, and these are the three different combinations now come to 5 again i have two options either to use two or not to use two so when i'm not using two i can simply take value from the above cell which is 1 and when i'm using two so i will reduce the amount from 5 5 minus 2 is 3 so i will check what are the number of combinations to form 3 when i'm using two that is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 Now I come to six. So again I have the, again I have two options, and I will use the same logic. I will use the value from here, and I will reduce two from six, which is two, which is six minus two is four, and which is this amount. So I will add one and three. So I got four. For seven, I will take one and three. I got four. For eight, I will use one and four. I got five. So now I got a formula, and the formula is, I will take the I will take the value from above cell, and I will go for the position amount minus coin in the same row. This is the above row, and this is the same row. And I will add both of them. In this combination, I will get my new number of combination for a given amount. And let's use this formula, and let's add one more coin. So I will add. One, two, and now we will add five. And let's erase and let's erase this part as we just have to look for the amount of five in the question. And you can see till this part, adding five will not make any changes. Why? Because I cannot form four using a coin of five. Why? Because four is less than five, so till this part I can simply use the value from above, and for this part I will use the above cell which is three, and I will minus five from five. That means I came here zero, and I will check its value in this row, which is one. 
so 3 plus 1 is 4 so i got four total number of combinations using a coin of 1 2 and 5 to make amount 5 so i hope you understood the concept so let's move on to the coding part and let's see what is the code for this problem so let's look at the code so first of all i made an array and the size of the array is amount plus 1 and i filled 1 at first index then i'm simply looping through the coin and we are adding the number of combination in the same row for the amount minus coin and we are adding it to the previous number of combinations we have so here rather than using matrix i am simply using a single array so i don't have to take the amount from the above cell because it already contain in the same row because we just have one row and at the end i can simply return the last index which is equal to our amount so this was the code let's see whether it works or not so here i submitted my code and it got accepted you can find the code in the description below thank you so much guys for watching the video please don't forget to subscribe